Born on June 7th, 1928, in Leeds, West Yorkshire, England, Roy Reg Park would become one of the most recognizable and accomplished bodybuilders in the mid-20th century. However, it could be said that he is best known as Arnold Schwarzenegger's mentor and idol. Although his initial athletic interests revolved around football, or what us Yanks call soccer, that changed when Park was sidelined from football due to an injury, and he met a muscle man named David Cohen. It is worth emphasizing that the great Reg Park stumbled into bodybuilding only because of what would have appeared to be a terrible misfortune. The great American Western writer, Louis L'Amour, said, There will come a time when you believe everything is finished. That will be the beginning. In the case of Park, the end of his football career meant the beginning of his journey toward achieving a mythic status. Like many physical cultural legends, Park started with a program that was characterized by no nonsense, no frills routine, that revolved around some barbells, dumbbells, and a pull-up bar. Speaking about Reg's training philosophy, Arnold Schwarzenegger said the following, From the beginning, I was a big believer in the basic movements, because that was Reg Parks' preference. He would stay with the basic exercises, bench presses, chin-ups, squats, rowing, barbell curls, wrist curls, pullovers, leg extensions, calf raises. These were the movements that worked most directly on all body parts. I was following his example to the letter. And as it turned out, I could have hardly chosen more wisely. The basic exercises were creating for me a rugged foundation, a core of muscle I could later build upon for a winning body. Reg Parks' theory was that first you have to build the mass and then chisel it down to get the quality. I'll say that again. Reg Parks' theory was that first you have to build the mass and then chisel it down to get the quality. This basic but effective approach to training became the basis for developing Parks' 6 foot 1, 250 pound frame, which at that time was considered unbelievably massive. After Parks' military service, during which he served as a physical training instructor in Singapore, he began competitive bodybuilding. He was driven to excellence in competition after witnessing John Grimmick overcome Steve Reeves in the inaugural Mr. Universe contest of 1948. On the bodybuilding circuit, Reg became known for possessing a certain fluidity and gracefulness in his movements. Working with his wife, a former ballerina, Park developed an approach to posing that exhibited an aesthetically pleasing artistry. Eventually, this style of posing would become the accepted standard in bodybuilding. Of course, Park was not just a guy who possessed a dancer's style on stage, he also possessed a rugged strength in the gym. It is said that he was the second man, after Doug Hepburn, to bench press 500 pounds. With his strength, fluidity of movement, and charisma, Park rose quickly in bodybuilding. He won the Mr. Britain contest in 1949, and was discovered by Joe Weider, who featured Park in his strength publications regularly. Park would also go on to win the Mr. Universe title three times and star as Hercules in five films. Park's his son, John John, a competitive swimmer, personal trainer, and former owner of Legacy Gym in West LA, continues his father's legacy in physical culture. Now here's a three-day routine from Park that he used back in, in 1973. The first day he would start with deltoids and that would be seated high incline, incline dumbbell presses, five sets, five reps. Then on to line face down on the bench laterals for five sets of eight reps. Then he would move on to triceps with pulley pushdowns, five sets, eight reps. Line tricep Z-bar extensions, five sets, eight reps. Decline Z-bar tricep extensions, five sets, eight reps. Line face down on bench pulley push out, five sets, eight reps. And then standing extension with floor pulley, five sets, eight reps. The second day would start with back, chin ups, five sets, eight reps. Then on to seated pulley pull downs behind the neck, five sets, eight to 10 reps. 
seated pulley pull-ins to waist, five sets, 10 reps. Seated pulley with floor pulley, five sets, eight reps. Then onto biceps. One arm seated dumbbell curls, five sets, eight reps. Preacher curls, five sets, eight reps. Line flat on bench curls, five sets, eight reps. And incline dumbbell curls, five sets, eight reps. On his third day, he would start with thighs, as he called it. Leg press, five sets, five reps. Hack squat with machine, five sets, eight reps. Hack squat with weight on belt behind back, five sets, eight reps. Then to calves, standing calf raises, five sets, 20 reps. Seated calf raises, five sets, 20 reps. Then abdominals, legged, leg raised, hanging from chin-up bar, and ordinary leg raises, then leg raises on high bench, twists on a swivel machine, and all of the above exercises were three to five sets of 30 to 40 reps. For more of these old stories from the history of physical culture, click subscribe.